So this is the latest from the Legacy Edition from Jurassic Park. It's the Kitchen Encounter Pack. And we finally got Lex Murphy as an action figure since Kenner did her dirty and not include her in part of the line. So this is just a correction, which I am happy. But um, plus it comes with the big one, so I'm happy. So the Raptor Trio from the first movie is complete. If you had the Escape from Isla Nublar set, but I mean, yeah, this is the um boxes it comes in. It has the Dominion T Rex Kyle on it for the new box, and then the logo. You have this really detailed um kitchen scene in the back, from which we'll take out and look at later. And then on the back, um. It has shows just him, Lexi, and the big, the big one I call her, and I mean it looks cool. It's just like standard, and then it has advertisements, and then it's just your box, standard box art, and yeah, let's get the figures out, kind of thing. This is just a quick look of the um background that Mattel putting a lot of effort in which you can use as like a set piece with to display it or you can throw it away but I honestly don't know why because honestly without this little feature it's kind of like a lack luster but um we'll get into that later but um you can see all the dishes just on the countertop with the fans and the jungle in the background and this little advertisement thing kills the scene honestly because it's just I know advertising but Mattel you did it you ruined it with that but that, other than that you can see a raptor peering into the um door which should be on the other side of the box if you if they wanted to be accurate but instead they put it over here with a rack but that is really cool I like that raptor detail that's cool and then they have spoons over here where the door was supposed to be if they want to be aggravated with the ladles and that's an iconic scene which is really cool and then it comes with this little cabinet thing where it displays the raptor which is you can use as like for Tim and Lex to hide and and what they should have done is put those ladles you see over there like right here or something so you can have have like like this and then you can have like oops have it like this and then have like a ten figure just a refillator just sitting like that with the ladles and then the raptor going around and then that'd be cool. But um no they didn't do that because they're dumb. But anyway let's go look at Tim. Here's a close up of the Tim figure that it comes with. And at first I thought they were just going to be lazy and just throw in Tim again from the um, Jungle Explorer, Jungle Forest Explorer, whatever that set with the T-Rex. And it, you just have another, you would just have two of those. But then I saw that they put dirt, well, simulated some dirt specs to make him like look different and have actual a point being in there which makes sense because he was dirty in the sea anyway so and I guess it wouldn't make sense to have the scene without Tim so Tim is an important factor so I guess this is a win like good plus that they did um like variants different they changed Tim up so it wasn't just two of the sex same figure even though the only difference between this Tim and the other Tim Murphy is just the dirtiness of the two, but one is clean shirt, once the rest is dirty, but it's just, I won't go into detail because it's just standard Tim, but yeah. Now, let's go into Lex. This is the Lex figure, and this is the first Lex figure ever in toy form since um, Kenner left her out for some reason because people thought she was the least popular character which uh, I, don't, I don't know I mean she was kind of important in the end so she got the power on 
Oh, it's blurry. Let's fix that. There we go. So this is just a close up on her face. I mean, her likeness is all right, I guess. Um, she has dirt on her clothes too, and it looks really great for a Kenner fig, McKenna fig, Mattel figure, finally. And I wish it came with her baseball cap because she had that in the beginning. Maybe we'll get another variant of her with clean clothes or something. I don't know, but this was like the main draw of the set, I think, because everyone wants a Lex figure. They've been asking for it, and now we finally did. And she comes, her accessory comes with a frying pan of all things, which was weird because she never used a frying pan in the movie. And they should come with that ladle over here this thing, one of those, or something, a ladle of some sort, because she did use that to attract the raptors, not like a frying pan, she didn't, like, bitch slap a raptor or something, even though that would be funny, I'll have to see that real quick, just be like, bam, the raptor drops dead or something, that's kind of cool, but, um, yeah, this is Lex, she comes with a frying pan, I wish it was the spoon, but, um, yeah, this is the first, um, well, first, the, the third Flossoraptor from the first movie. And, um, I like to think that this is the big one since it's bigger than the other two raptors that we got earlier in last year or whatever with Hammond. That's it. So now the pack from the first movie is complete. And I love that they actually kept the same paint job to be just like the movie so you can have an official trio pack of the first movie and this is like the new attack pack raptor it looks like the articulation is different in this one than the other ones like the legs move I mean this one like doesn't really move that well but um here's a closer up on her she has the same green eyes as the other two raptors from the Escape of the Newbar set, which is good. Oh, that camera focus is horrible. Um, there we go. Yeah, there's the paint job, the eyes. You can actually move the head, which is good. So you can have, like, the raptor going that, doing like that to the other raptor kind of thing. I don't know. Um, but, um, this is the, um, I guess... I like to pretend this is the alpha male, or female, whatever the big one was, because it's slightly bigger. Um, yeah, her claws move, or arms move like that, and her, you can move, actually move her head up and down and around, and stuff, and her tail doesn't move, but this is just like, I guess, a new tail thing where they put the barcodes on this thing like that here's that if you can focus on that that'd be great camera thank you but there's that like I said in, like before like in the Nat Trapper or whatever there's a sonar video it depends on which order but it, um I, I'm not a fan of these sliding things because they're stupid. I liked it better on, when they were on the bottom of the feet because they were out of the way and you didn't have to look at them. But here you just, they just stand up there and it's just this chunk of flesh kind of missing and it looks awkward and not, not natural. But I guess if you stand like that you don't really notice it but still. I, I'm not a fan of the new Barco stuff, even though nobody uses the app, to my knowledge. But, um, yeah, that's just the Raptor. It's pretty simple. The articulation is good. I like the paint job in the eyes, which is great. And I guess and it's time for the overall view of the set. Overall, I guess, for $20, what you get with this is alright because you get a Lex figure that we never got in before you get a Raptor and you get Tim which is cool but I kind of feel like it's 
honestly, this left me, um, underwhelmed. Kind of, like, uh, lackluster. I mean, it's cool. I got it. We got the Lex and, um, the Final Raptor right here. But, I'd, if you just had, like, the figures staying alone, it's just, like, underwhelming, I guess. Then, I guess, anticipation, I guess. I don't know. I'm just glad we got the Lex and the Raptor, third Raptor so we can have a complete pack and complete cast, I guess. But, um, I'm glad... I'm glad they at least concluded like this little diorama kind of thing so you can have them displayed, give it a little bit more play value. Because like if it's just the, if you take this away, you just have the two there, it's just not a lot you can do with it. But if you have this here with this um, cardboard cabinet thing, you can have like... To recreate the scene and have it on display somewhere, which is really cool. I'm glad that they did, even though it has that weird advertisement up there, so that kind of defeats the, the purpose of this diorama kind of thing. But still, for what it is, I'm glad we finally got it. It was overdue. Finally, have all three Raptors in a Lex figure. Yeah, I would pick it up if you're for just the. Uh, for 20 bucks and I would recommend keeping the box background for play value kind of thing but yeah